Our next guest in Las Vegas, Senate candidate uh, Danny Tarkanian, very famous family in Las Vegas. Danny, thank you very much for being with us. What's the mood there right now? I take it it's shut down, basically. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's shock. Um, just everybody is just so concerned about the people that are on the strip. I had 20, 25 texts this morning because uh, I was sleeping when this event occurred of people just saying, hey, is your family okay? Is your friends' uh, uh, families okay? It's just, uh, this was the worst fear for people in Las Vegas. We knew this was a possibility because of the type of entertainment and the activities we have in this uh, community. Uh, but for it to finally happen, and to happen with the domestic terrorists uh, as opposed to an international terrorist really shocks me. What do you want to hear from the president in about 10 minutes' time? Well, I'm sure the president is going to um, have a lot of uh, sympathy and condolences to the people that um, have either been injured or family members that uh, have had injured or, or lost um, loved ones. And uh, there's not a lot he can say except just to... Uh, express his sympathy for uh, what happened and uh, try to get lead us in a strong direction moving forward, as your previous guest said, not to let these type of terrorist activities change the way we live and the way our community um, acts. Would, would you agree, sir, that it should be a tightly controlled presidential um, statement here? He should not go There's off not the a, cuff. Yes, absolutely. There's not a lot he should expand upon. Look, this was the most horrendous terrorist act, I should say terrorist act, mass shooting in the United States history. It certainly is the worst thing that's happened to this uh, city here. And for the people that this happened to, this, we're talking 10 hours ago, uh, we're still trying to grapple with how uh, devastating this is, and that's where his focus should be on. We're still trying to grapple with the fact that the man must have planned this well in advance. Yeah. He took the yeah. hotel room um, on the September the 28th, that's last Thursday. The shooting occurred last night, that would be Sunday night. He'd gotten yeah. into the hotel, some 10 rifles, maybe more, a load of ammunition, which he used, yeah. and he'd set up cameras to alert when first responders would come anywhere near him. Clearly, yeah. it was planned. What on earth goes through the mind of a man whose brother says he was a perfectly normal guy and everybody's shocked at this? I mean, the, the, the planning yeah. is extraordinary here. Yeah, you can imagine the pain and, and what he caused to so many people's lives. And he did this intentionally and had a plan, like you said. Look, he wasn't getting 10 rifles into that uh, hotel unless he had several days to do so. And that's probably why he booked the room the 28th and, and committed the act just last night. Yes, sir. Danny Tarkanian, thank you very much for joining us from a shocked city of Las Vegas. Thank you, sir. Appreciate thank it. Thank you. Thank you, Stuart.